What is the best way to double your money? Investing. Making the right investment can double your money in a matter of years. Compounding works in a way that investing just $1,000 can make you a millionaire or even a billionaire if you play your cards right. Looking for a beginner-friendly video on how you can turn your $1,000 into a fortune? Then you're in the right place. Hey go-getters, welcome back to The Early Investors, another profitable episode where you can learn how to become financially free. In today's video, we'll be showing you 10 ways to invest $1,000. Want to become the next Warren Buffett? Stay with me to find out all the tips and tricks to save your hard-earned simoleons. Before we jump into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more business-related content. The first way to invest $1,000 is to invest in an index fund. So, what is an index? It is a tool that quickly analyzes the stock market. There are a lot of indices out there like NASDAQ, S&P 500, and many others. Let's take the S&P 500 as an example because it is the most widely used stock market index. The S&P 500 is a sample set of the 500 biggest companies in the US, combined into one easy-to-read average price. So, if you wanted to look up the stock market performance of last year, instead of looking up all the stocks individually, you could look up where the S&P 500 started and ended that year. Although there are many more than 500 stocks in the US stock market, the S&P 500 will give an idea of how the market is performing because it has the 500 largest US stocks. Now, what is an index fund? It is a portfolio of stocks or bonds that mirrors the composition and performance of a financial market index. Remember the S&P 500 index? It's just a calculated average of the stock prices of the top 500 companies. You can't invest in the S&P 500 because it's just an average number. But you can invest in an S&P 500 index fund. When you invest in an index fund, you immediately become a part owner of all the companies in that index. And if index fund increases by 10%, your investment increases by 10% diminishes by 10%, your investment decreases by 10%. There are two great reasons to invest in an index fund. Firstly, you get safety in numbers. With an index fund, you get a widely diversified portfolio of stocks across different industries. You don't have to be a genius or know how to pick stocks to benefit from the stock market's wealth-creating capabilities. You have to invest in an index fund to get on that long-term upward trend of the stock market. So, you're not a DIY type, you're not interested in researching and buying individual shares, then an index fund is just for you. This strategy is also known as diversification, and it works. Because the overall market goes up over the long term, even though all stocks don't go up over the long term. Secondly, index funds offer automatic reinvestment. Once you make your initial investment of $1,000, you probably want to keep adding to it. So, you can set up automatic monthly contributions from your bank account and the index fund will reinvest this extra cash back into the fund every month without any additional cost. This is really convenient. You can set it and forget it. The second way you can invest $1,000 is to invest in an ETF, meaning exchange-traded funds. They're very similar to index funds. Like index funds, ETFs also track an index. The difference is how they're traded. Both index funds and ETFs are pooled investment vehicles that give you easy access to a large selection of stocks. You can only buy and sell your shares daily once with an index fund, and with an ETF you can buy and sell any time the stock market's open because it trades just like a stock. Some prefer ETFs because they prefer having the freedom to buy whenever they want. However, the big downside to ETFs is that it doesn't offer automatic reinvestment. So, if you want to keep adding to your portfolio every month with an ETF, you would have to buy more shares of that ETF every month with that additional money. The third way to invest your $1,000 is to invest using a robo-advisor app. Nowadays, there are many new apps that make it super convenient for you to invest. Some of these apps are Wealthfront, Acorn, Stash, Betterment, Elvest. Since none of these apps have any minimum investments, you're good to go with $1,000. This makes things super easy. Just hook up your bank account, transfer over some money, and voila! Your money gets invested in one of their portfolios that are professionally designed. These apps ask you some basic questions about your age, financial goals, and time horizon. Then it sets up an investor profile for you, based on your answers, and put your money into a prepackaged portfolio tailored to your investor profile. It's important to note that these apps give you very little control over your portfolio. 
So you only get to choose between their pre-packaged portfolios and you can't just go and buy whatever stock you want. So basically, you're giving up control in exchange for convenience and simplicity. If you want to put your money to work and not think about it, then a robo-advisor app is just for you. The fourth way to invest your $1,000 is to invest in stocks using the magic formula. If you are a DIY type, then you might want to consider investing in individual stocks. But when do we buy stocks? Nobody wants to be that person who buys at the peak of a bull run and then everything crashes. You have to be very careful during bull runs and it isn't easy to find good bargains. So what do you do? Luckily, there's a solution. It's called magic formula investing. But what exactly is this? Magic formula investing is an investment technique described by Joel Greenblatt. It's based on two simple financial metrics, earnings yield and return on capital. It filters through the thousands of companies you could invest in, and it shows you the stocks that are priced cheaply relative to their earnings potential. The idea behind this is that if you're buying good companies for cheap, then your risk is low because there isn't much room for the stock market price to go any lower. So the magic formula gets you the best deals in the market. The fifth way is to invest in the money market. Maybe it's too soon for you to invest in the stock market. Maybe you want to park your cash somewhere else until you decide what to do with it. Then you can consider this. The money market is a place where you can park your cash short term and earn a yield of about 2 to 3%. When you invest in the money market, you're lending your cash to short term borrowers. There's hardly any interest rate risk or credit risk. This is way better than keeping your cash in your savings account at least you can keep up with the inflation. The sixth thing you can do is build up your emergency fund. Yawn, right? We've heard this countless times, but that's because it's very important. You must have an emergency fund worth three to six months of your livelihood. This can give you the cash cushion so you're never forced to sell your investments to pay for an unforeseen expense. You never know what the market will do, and the last thing you want is to sell them after a dip in the market just to come up with some cash. The seventh way is to try out a real estate crowdfunding platform. Normally, real estate needs a good amount of capital. Thanks to crowdfunding technology, now you can invest in real estate with just $1,000 or even less. What I like about real estate investments is that they offer a balance of dividends and growth. Real estate generates steady income from rents and it also appreciates in value. Number eight, you can invest in REIT or a real estate investment trust. This is similar to crowdfunding, but REIT is a stock. It's a stock in a company that owns income-generating real estate. Just like stocks, REITs trade on an exchange. Number 9. You can focus on repaying your debts. Okay, I know that repaying debts isn't really investing, but hear me out. When you pay down your debts, those monthly payments can build up your investments instead of going towards debt. If debt is preventing you from investing, then the best way to invest your $1,000 might be to start paying down your debt. The final investment tip is to invest in yourself. This is really important. If you want to go from A to B, you need to become a different person. When you invest in yourself, you upgrade your mental software and start thinking differently. You can look up personal development programs, online courses, and meditation retreats. Investing in yourself can change you and make you feel better about yourself. And we've reached the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did so, smash that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.